Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I am going to show you how to quickly rig this creature's tentacles and animate them. All right, so let's get started. Let's gonna go ahead and let's go to the front view. Under animation, I am going to grab the skeleton joint tool. Quickly place the joints along the tentacles. Then press enter when you're done. I'm gonna go over here to the perspective window and you can see that I need to actually grab the move tool and just place them right on top of the geometry. By the way, if you don't see this, you can click this little button right here and it will show you the joints through the geometry. So everything's looking good. I just need to move a couple of joints here so to make sure that they're actually in the geometry. Just kind of move them around. Well, actually, I'm gonna duplicate this. Skeleton mirror joints, let's go to the options. And we have several options here. We can go ahead and click on YZ and then apply. And you can see that the joints went to the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and place these joints at the other tentacle. They don't really align, so I'm gonna have to do a little tweak in here. Another way is to see this is by clicking here and just making sure the joints are actually in the mesh. I'm going to click it and move it around. The key here is to make sure the actual joints are inside the mesh. So now that that's done, click this little guy right here. Let's go ahead and bind it. We're going to select the top joint select the mesh, and then we're going to skin, smooth bind. Same thing on the other side, I'm gonna select this, the joints, shift select geometry, and then go to skin, smooth bind. So now you can see the rainbow, and I can now animate this. So I'm gonna quickly animate my joints. The best way to do it for me would be to select all of the joints. There's several ways you can do this. You can select them in the outliner if you wanted to, but I'm gonna show you a nifty little trick. Let's say you have joint one selected here, here at the mail script window, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Here in the mail script window, you're going to type in select and then hyphen HI for hierarchy. And that means select hierarchy in mail script. And now you can see that all the joints are selected. So to animate this quickly, I'm going to click on the letter S. Then I'm going to go to, let's say, uh, frame 15. I'm going to click on the W and just kind of animate it. You can see that I can animate some of it over here. S. And then if I want it to loop, which is actually what I want, is um, I'm going to go back to frame 1, middle mouse and drag frame 1 to 30, and then click S. And that would actually put the frame back to it to where it was. And there you go. You can see that it's, uh, it's animated. It doesn't look very good, though. It's very stiff. You definitely don't want that. So... Let's go ahead and start doing what's called overlapping. Overlapping means that one joint follows it a couple of frames later. So the first joint we'll leave alone and then we'll press the down key on your keyboard and that will select the next joint. So I'm going to double click here and I'm just going to move this about three, two to three frames. Then I'm going to click the down key again in your keyboard, select this and then double click on your timeline. And then instead of three, I'm going to do a couple more. It's going to be five. Hit the down arrow again, and instead of five, I'm gonna go to frame seven. So you can see that over here is frame seven. Hit the down button again, and then I'm gonna go this to frame nine, and let's see how that looks like. So now it looks like we have a little bit of an overlap. Now, I feel like it needs to be a little bit more dramatic in the ends. So I'm gonna grab this little guy, go to that frame right here, 21, and maybe just move it a little bit more, and then click S, and I'm gonna get that other one, I just really want to see that overlap. Just want to make it very dramatic and then click us again. And now you can see that it actually has this interesting looking wiggle. So next part is how do we get it to loop? Well, that's where our animation graph comes in. So click on this little guy right here. And um, again, we need to select all of the joints. So select the top joint, press the up arrow in your mail script, or again, you can type in select space hyphen HI, which by the way, the little hyphen, the little minus sign that stands for flag. So that selects all of the joints and you can see all of our animation curves. You want to go under curves, post infinity cycle. And what that does is that it's actually going to continue the cycle over and over and over. And that's how you can create a quick animation with overlapping animation. So we'll do the other side. Select the top one. Again, you can either type select flag HI for hierarchy or just press the up arrow in your keyboard. Press enter. And there you go. 
I'm gonna say uh, this time I'm gonna start in frame one. I might wanna make this one a little bit faster, so I'm gonna stop at frame 12. I'm gonna rotate this guy just a little bit. And then from there, I'm gonna go to frame 24. And then remember, I'm just middle mouse and dragging this to frame 24 so there is animation. It's a little faster. And now I need to overlap. So again, just click the down arrow on your keyboard. Double click this, you're gonna drag this about two frames. The down arrow, this time I'm gonna to go to five. One more time. This time I'm gonna to go to seven. And then one more time. And nine, let's see how that looks. All right, so again, still a little stiff. I want it to be a little bit more wiggly. So I'm gonna grab the ones that I want more movement. So I'm gonna click this little guy here that goes from frame to frame, rotate it a little bit more, and then click S. Grab the other joint, do the same thing. You can click this button here, rotate it a little bit more, click S, and let's see how that looks. Okay, not bad. All right, let's do the infinity. Select the animation graph, go to uh, curves, pre-infinity, I'm sorry, post-infinity cycle. All right, let's see the magic happen. Whoops, what did I do wrong here? That's right, I didn't select all of the joints. So let's go ahead and grab all the joints, press the up arrow, select high, click on this, and then again, post-infinity cycle. And now, there you go. It looks like they're clapping. <laughs> like you're trying to clap. Let's see if I can offset it a little bit. Let's select high. Let's grab all of these guys and then we'll just move the animation so now it doesn't look so uh, like it's clapping. Do you see that though? The problem here is that it actually stops. It doesn't start, right? Well, we can fix that by going into our graph again. Okay, select all the joints. And this time under curves, you're going to go to pre-infinity cycle. And that means that it's actually going to cycle before the animation starts. And there you go. Let me go ahead and hide my joints so you get to see the animation on its own. Of course, what you would like to do next is actually go ahead and just rig every single one of these tentacles and animate them all. So that was a quick introduction to uh, rigging, to overlapping animation, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. There is going to be more really cool tutorials coming up. I'm going to be showing more lighting, more texturing, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time.